house and I only had the two bedroom uh, Airbnb. I made a social media and stuff like that. And when it was time for me to ask my landlord if I can get the second apartment and stuff like that, I showed him on social media what I was doing on social media, how people were uh, engaging with the, the place on social media and stuff like that. So it's like, and that was also helped him convince me like, okay, I can trust her because she's taking it seriously. She's taking this business seriously. You get what I'm saying? So I said, I like to say, I said, I like to say, it's like your social media does matter. So not only does it matter for attracting customers, it also matters for attracting um investors and also for like getting the bank on your side so am i really that much and breaking these videos down like a camera you don't really just know you hello hello everyone my name is simon rare i'm the creepreneur every week i give you business tips and tricks on how to create or how to maintain your creative business so this week we were actually working on we're working on our business plan and stuff like that so we can use our business plan to go to the bank and to get funding and stuff like that. Hope you guys can hear me. My microphone did die, so I'm not even going to play with that today. <laughs> I'm not even going to play with that today because last time I did that, I had a whole bunch of videos and stuff like that that we couldn't even use because my audio went out. So I hope you guys can hear me. I'm going to try to, you know, see what I can do with the audio once I'm in edit, but hope you guys can hear me. So today we're I'm be I'm gonna be focused on um, teaching you how to make your social media come off as a real business, not just a beginner and stuff like that, or someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Now, why, before I go there, let me tell you why this is important. So, with the funding that everybody wants and stuff like that, because not only is this going to be important for marketing once we get to it, after you get everything open and stuff like that, I'm gonna teach you how to market and stuff like that and, and everything like that, but. Not only for marketing and branding purposes is this important, but it's important in the initial beginning stages because when you want when you go get funding and stuff like that, you want to look as authentic as possible. You want to look like you know what you're doing as possible because sometimes, yes, you can apply for credit cards online and stuff like that, and that works and that's good and that's Gucci, but you're also going to have to apply for credit cards in person and loans and stuff like that. You want to build a relationship with your banker so that way you can keep getting more and more money on <laughs> so you keep making more and more investments. However, depending on who you are, some people could just walk in, they don't need, some people could just walk in and they don't need to, um, have everything the quote unquote looks all right and then other people they do need to when they walk in they to make sure everything is everything looks good everything is to the t okay so we want to say that so for me some banks didn't just give me, didn't give me a hard time at all but then some banks i went to they wanted to see my social media they wanted to see my website they wanted to see like if i had a, a business email they wanted to see all that you get what i'm saying they want to see that i was operating or you know at least um beginning to operate and stuff like that so that's why this is important so just in case that does arise but you have to show somebody this is yeah this is my um this is my social media now not only with the banks when it comes to angel investors and stuff like that angel investors so with my first property um but my first property, my the um the hiding house when I only had the two bedroom uh, Airbnb, I made a social media and stuff like that. And when it was time for me to ask my landlord if I can get the second apartment and stuff like that, I showed him on social media what I was doing on social media, how people were uh, engaging with the, the place on social media and stuff like that. So it's like, and that was also helped him convince me like, okay, I can trust her because she's taking it seriously. She's taking this business seriously. You get what I'm saying? So I said I like to say, I said I like to say, it's like your social media does matter. So not only does it matter for attracting customers, it also matters for attracting um, investors and also for like getting the bank on your side. So that's why it's important. So I'm going to teach you how to get it right. Right. So you, you don't have to like, you don't really depend on what you do. You don't have to go OD and stuff like that. But like, so if, like for me, I have a creative space. So if you have a creative space, you really need to brand that page and be nothing but the space, all about the space with how to fill the spaces, everything like that, all, all that. Right. If if you're just branding yourself, you're, you can kind of curate your page in a way that most of it is with your businesses, but you can also add some personal stuff inside. So it doesn't have to be like how I'm about to tell you in this video, but it depends. So if the bit is a bit, if your business is based off a personal brand, like, okay, let's say you're just st strictly selling your art pieces, right? But you're doing regular canvases. Yeah, you can have some flyers and stuff like that, but you don't need to have infographs and flyers and stuff like that because you're selling yourself. So I'm going to make a video about that later on in life, but right now we're focused on the people who are making making their art create a uh, business like uh like for example like my hottie house or my first business well not my first business one of my first businesses 
uh, Cyber XL, which was a cosmetic company that I created just so I can create the right commercials and photo shoots and stuff like that. But that whole page was branded around Siren XO. Like I had to make Siren XO its own person, own entity. Does that make sense? So if you're make, if you're using your art to turn it into something that people need and a product they can buy instead of a service, then you need to brand your page in the way that this video is um that I'm gonna state in this video. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. But I think I'm gonna change about I'm so sorry, I'm gonna change my camera angle in a minute. This sun, I'm loving this sun, y'all. I'm loving it. I just wanna pull this down a little bit, not too much. There we go, perfect. And yes, I have a shirt with myself. You gotta be confident. You gotta be confident. Okay, that's like another walking billboard. Okay, but anywho, so how to get your social media right? So the first thing you want to do is, is you want to have crisp, clear images, crisp, clear in images. So whether it's images of yourself or whether it's images of your product or whatever you're selling and stuff like that, you really want to make sure your images are really crisp and really clear. Like I know, like this, what you call the other one? Hold on, let me see if I can move this up. Okay, that's like a little better. I got to buy something that actually holds the uh, blind up because that second part really be pissing me off. But okay. So anywho, back to what I was saying. So crisp, clear images. We want to make sure that we have crisp, clear images because you want to make sure people can really see what you're selling. So what do I mean by that? So before I, um, I was just taking my images outside. So you can do one or two things. So let's say you don't have, let's say you don't have any money. So you don't have any money at all. Not even a little bit, not even $25. You got, uh, I, all you got is an iPhone and you got your product. You can go outside Go outside and put your phone on 4K and take the videos or put your phone on whatever your camera settings are to make sure your pictures come out really, really, really clear. Put Go outside in the daytime and take your pictures directly in some like sunlight, like some sunlight, something that with a lot of natural light off, um, or up against either like some greenery. I'll put some examples out here, either, either like some greenery right here or a, uh, find like a, um, like a flat surface or buy yourself like a white uh like a white uh uh, what's some things called that the poster board a white poster board and go outside in the sun and take those pictures make sure like they don't have a shadow or something like that but take the clear pictures outside like that if you have if all you have is like an iphone preferably like the latest iphone because the camera is always going to be better on those iphones you can do that now let's say you have a little bit of money let's say you got a little bit a couple dollars let's say you got like 50 bucks or so what you can do is you can get a product photography shoot a uh, photo shoot so what you want to do is you want to go to fiber i'm gonna uh, put insert a clip right here you want to go to fiber and you want to look in product for the product photography then you're going to find one that you like one that's within budget i feel like they range anywhere from like 50 dollars all the way up to like 500 dollars, depending on what you how, what you have and how many products that you're going to be um shipping over right after that then you're going to get in contact with that person usually that part that person is going to ask you to send their send your products to them so they can take pictures make sure you send products that you don't care about getting back <laughs> make sure you send products that you don't care about getting don't send like if you have if you only have one of each palette then you need to take those pictures yourself when you first get like your first samples and let's say you only want to do pre-orders make sure you get at least three, three of your items. You want to get at least three of your items. You want to get one that you're not going to touch at all for you to take pictures and videos. You want to get another one just in case you, if you do do the product photography, you want to go ahead and send those to that person. You might not get them back. Some of them send them back, some of them don't. So you know what I'm saying? So you can send, so that way you can send it to them and you don't really care about getting them back. You just wanted the pictures. That and then three, one that you can actually do swatches with or like show how to use it. So that way the one that's, that's the untouched one is, is strictly for pictures. So I mean, that's just a quick little nugget. Strictly for pictures, you want one strictly for pictures, then you want one that you can send away for product photography, and then you want one that you can actively use on camera so you can show people how to use their product, how to wear how to use your product, or how to wear your product, whatever, right? So those, those are things that you typically need. Now, with that being said, so you're gonna go on fiber, you wanna go on fiber, you wanna ask them, like, hey, I need uh this is how this is how many products I got. This where do I send them? They're gonna give you the address. You go ahead and send those products to the address and you'll get your professional pictures that way. When you get your pictures back, do you use those pictures for your all your social media um posts, ads, and on your website? Okay. So that's the first thing you do. You can either take them yourself outside directly in sunlight with a great um iPhone camera, or if you do have a couple dollars, which I really recommend, is just getting a product photography 
photography, especially if you have like some type of makeup. If you have some type of makeup or like something with a lot of detail, I would get an in studio uh, in studio shot to save you shoot is to save you some money. Just use Fiverr, okay? Um, it, you can also use Upwork and stuff like that, or find a local photographer. But again those prices range and then with the product photography or fiber and stuff like that you can look at people's portfolios and stuff like that and if you don't like something you can always contact fiber and get your money back so that's why i really like websites like fiber so the next thing you're going to do is flyer so again with these pictures that we just got in our in the last um point that i made the previous point that i made i would say you need crisp clear pictures why do you need those for flyers so flyers you can post when you just want to tell people information about your business when you talk want to tell people about your uh sales or whatever or like you want to tell like what are your, whatever your your uh, permanent prices are or if you just want to do something fun with your audience like maybe like ask them a question or ask them for some type of feedback or something like that so to get people to grab people's attention flyers have been used from the dawn of time you get what i'm saying like flyers have been used wait like forever you know what i'm saying that's the reason why flyers has always been used because flyers work so you want to be able to post flyers and stuff on your page I'm a big fan of infra, infra, um, infographics. So, like, if I'm looking like at makeup or like a hair product or something like that, I love when they have little pictures and videos where it tells you like what's inside of it or like what the product does and stuff like that. It tells me information about it. So, people do read those and those do work. So, flyers. So, how where do you get these flyers? You can get them on Canva. Canva also has um. Canva also has people who make flyers. My favorite, I'm using my favorite, I use this one guy. Uh, he's so favorite. His name is Steven. I've been using him since I had a uh, cyber that sell like forever. And he makes the best flyers. He only charges $25 a flyer, but it's always worth it because he has a he has a similar style than me. So sometimes you might have to go through a couple people who make flyers or whatever until you find one that kind of makes a similar style. So he knows that I like sexy, like I like dark, I like uh glam stuff and stuff like that. When I was when initially we first started talking, like he was asking me and I was sending him examples of flyers and stuff like that that I want. So every time he creates for me, he creates around that. Like he creates the for all my flyers look that way. Does that make sense? So he creates my flyers for Siren Storybook. He creates my flyers for uh, Hotty House. He creates all my flyers. Um, yeah, I love that guy. So yes, but if I can for whatever reason, if I but Stephen does take a little long. He take five days. So if I need something quick and fast, sometimes I can't really use Stephen because he 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 takes five days, right? However. If I cannot use use um use Steven, the next thing I do or fiber, my fiber guy, because don't you don't have to use Steven, you gotta find who right for you. It might be Mary, it might be Tom, it might be Jerry, but you'll find them that's right for you, right? So um the next thing I do, like I just recently started doing this, is I've been using the Etsy uh Canva uh edible template. So what I'll do is I'll type in like hair, like hair or beauty of flyers or whatever or whatever my product is i'll type in flyers for or whatever um and then i'll go ahead and i'll pick a template that i like and i'll download and i'll purchase it and usually they're like two or three dollars i'll purchase that and then i'll go to canva and then i'll edit it i'll edit um I'll edit, I'll re-edit it with like the stuff I want and the pictures I want to use and stuff like that. And that's an easy way to get a quick overnight flyer that you could do yourself in the um, Canva. I'm going to put Canva right here so that way you can see the, um, the thing. I'll put the link away. I don't know why I'm so tired, but, but yeah, so Canva is a good job for sure. You definitely have to get Canva. So that's the next thing I do. The, um, the third thing you want to do is you want to make, um, Pictures, you want to make you want to make a cap cut or regular pictures and videos that are high quality uh, for reels and, and stuff like that for reels and mini commercials and stuff like that. But you want to make sure. I, me personally, I don't really make regular videos anymore because I feel like they don't do real. They don't do well on any of the platforms now. All the platforms are going to have, besides YouTube, even YouTube because you got YouTube Shorts. Or going to a model where the uh, video fills the whole phone. So I I would highly suggest making reels and stuff like that that fill the whole phone. So not shot like long ways like this, but the opposite way like this. Um, so that way, and make sure they're crisp and clear. Put your phone on 4K 60. <laughs> if you got an iPhone, put it on 4K 60. If you don't got an iPhone, I don't know what your camera says on that Android. I don't know why you even got an Android, but whatever. Just figure out whatever your best camera settings on that phone is and make sure you put it on that when you're making your video, make sure it's clear. I wanna put an example to over here, okay? So the last thing you wanna
want to do is make sure you have a clear way to be contacted on your social media. So on my social media, I'll leave my email. I used to actually left my number before, but some people was calling my phone. So you can use a number, but I suggest using like a WhatsApp number or, or getting like a, a business phone number that still uh, directs calls to your cell phone. If that's how you want to, if that's how easily you want to be contacted or whatever, but just know people won't call, you know, so there's that. So you can put your number on there, but I prefer, my preference is the email because the email, it doesn't really disrupt my day and I can check it as I got time. And I'll even see a little notification pop up and stuff like that. So when it comes to email, just make sure, uh, just make sure it's a, a professional and easy to read email. Like try to use as minimum of, of letters and numbers as you can. So that way it's easy. So if you have, like, let's say your, uh, your, your uh, business is named Ronald Gaskins Gadgets use rgg at gmail.com or rgg at dot gregory dot com you gotta say something like that something like that so just make sure that um just make sure that it's easy to read easy for them to understand and it's easy accessible accessible in whatever bio of in your bios of all your social media usually all the social medias i know tiktok i know instagram and i feel like facebook all have a place for you to put your email at so just put it make sure that email is there make sure it's the email that you still have access to okay so let's run through these right quick how to get your social media right you want to have crisp clean crisp clear clean images you want to have flyers and stuff that tell about your business and stuff like that or tell about your product whatever you're selling and then you want to make uh cap cup or regular high quality videos and to make reels and stuff like that reels and shorts and things like that um that fill up the phone long ways and then you want to have a clear way of someone to contact you if they want to purchase from your business or talk to you about your business have questions for your business whatever i suggest the email you can use a phone number but if you're going to use a phone number make sure you use a business phone number but yeah guys that is my video on how to get your social media correct for business funding to for marketing just to get your business going because it has to look a certain way i cannot tell you how many times i don't went to somebody's page and they said they sell something and i looked at their social media i can't tell what they sell who they are what they're doing it, it just whole thing looks unprofessional it just looks like it just looks like they don't know what they're doing so i don't really want to give them their money because at this point i pay for quality you get what i'm saying so if you want to especially if you're charging if you're charging a couple of dollars if you're charging a couple of dollars people take pay for quality or it has to really, 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 really work, right? However, if it really, really, really work, it's going to be quality. <laughs> but anyway, like, but I, I say, you know, because sometimes people make stuff in their kitchen and it's like magic with their brand and it's trash. Like, that's cool and you'll get some people like that, but some people, they, you won't even keep their attention because it looked like that in the first place. You get what I'm saying? You can have Jesus' tears in a bottle and it's like, uh, I don't know if they really use this tears because of the way your brand it looks. You get what I'm saying? Or like the way that you're giving your information on, you're putting your information about your product or business or service on the internet. It just doesn't seem professional. So we want to make sure we show up. We want to make sure we show out. But yeah, you guys, that is my video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.